Jason Kane is an area manager for C.W. Roberts Contracting Incorporated. In 2013, his company had a contract to widen about 10 miles of Liberty County Road 2224. That particular road happens to have a number of unusual plants growing along the sides, including the rare night flowering wild petunia. My name is Eleanor Dietrich and I am a member of the Florida Wildflower Foundation and Florida Native Plant Society. When I learned of the danger to this plant, I wrote a letter to Mr. Kane asking him if there was a way to preserve this critical habitat during the road construction. He set up a meeting with me, presented protection options, and proceeded with those measures. After the construction was completed, he met with us and described the details of the process he used to preserve this rare plant. This would be a, a typical section of what we did. The existing roadway is showing to right here. So mm -hmm. this is this is the base, the lime rock base we put in. Mm -hmm. So all the soil that fell in this area, we just moved out here into this area and, and lightly spread it across the shoulder of the road. Th this here would be the, the first step that we did, which was till up a strip about five foot wide right beside the pavement. The stake that we put up here is, is six foot off the edge of pavement, which is showing the, the width that we were gonna disturb. So really we've only disturbed six foot from the edge of the road. This is the same side again. This is the first picture after we, we cut the topsoil type, the first couple of inches off of the, the shoulder and we moved it out onto the shoulder. So basically we've cut down beside the road and we've moved that soil, which would have the roots and all that just yeah. outside of the six yeah. foot. How did you get it off the top? Of we the... took a motor grader right here. That's what he's doing. He's He's just cutting down by the edge of the road to the to get so all the soil. Scoops it, up. it just rolls it over. Rolls, it, rolls over. it over to the side. And and this is a pretty good picture here where you can see where we cut out and then all the the soil that would have the root system in it, it's outside of the six foot. Same thing right here, we've cut down, there's grass. So that six foot we didn't disturb. We just took the soil that was here, the top soil, and this is it in this wind row right outside. And then Basically, you didn't go any deeper? Not, not in, out in here, no. Then we actually made a, created a box. This, this box is three and a half foot wide and then still all the soil that was on top in this area, it's out here on top. And you okay. can see the same thing here. This is the box where we did the roadway widening and then the soil, the, the top soil that had the root system in it, it's, it's all, this is still it all out here on top. This is the same thing again. This is where we actually put in our lime rock base that we did our roadway widening with. You can see the, the soil that was there on top. You can actually see the existing grass still right here beside it, just where this soil was just fanned out and, and thinly placed over top of the existing grass out there. Yeah, that's what you said you were right. gonna do. Now, was that difficult to do? No, not really. It just, you just have to pay attention and do it up front and know what you're doing to not allow, you could go in there and just make a mix it and lose everything but the biggest thing is knowing what you want to do ahead of time and you can do that anywhere and, and just making sure that you keep the the soil that you want to keep that has the root system in it for the flowers on top of the existing soil where like oh, say it's okay. all right in here okay you don't want to mix it in and get it too deep out there um, this is after the widening's in and now he's taking that same soil and he's spreading it thinly over from, from the edge of our roadway widening to the slope. Basically, you can see what, is, what has been disturbed to the toe of the ditch. So that soil's, I mean, it's probably maybe a couple of inches thick. Um, so all that soil that was up closer to the road within six foot of the road, it's now out there with the other soil. Um, so all, so it should actually have a double layer kind of, of everything. So the, hopefully the, the existing um, root system of the flowers that were there, they yeah. will come on up through. That's Plus amazing. the new stuff or the stuff that was up by the road in our disturbed area, it's out there also. In a, in a perfect circumstances, you're gonna have a thicker growth of the flowers outside of the roadway now in more of a concentrated area. Yeah. And then like I say, you, this, this is all, this is the soil and it's basically about probably eight feet from the edge of our roadway widening out to where it ties back in a natural ground. And then it's still a little fluffed up, but it probably ended up being about two inches, three inches thick. So all this soil is really the soil that was up That here. was up by the road. We just, we just moved it over and kept it all on top 
um, versus getting it all mixed in, lost, or covered up with some other type of soil. Now, another thing I noticed about the construction here, and when you and I talked originally, was you were going to also keep the heavy equipment off that area. Right, we, we did. We kept all the the heavy equipment, especially, now we had, to, we had to come out a little bit out here where we spread the soil out, but didn't just go into the ditch and, and had a minimal disturbance on it, so you, you could have disturbed a lot more, but being we knew what we were trying to do and what our goal was, um, up front, we could let everybody know that this, this is a sensitive area and we want to stay off of it. So you really had to go through some training with people. Right. And, now how did you know how to do all of that? Uh, well, like I said, we, we've, de we've dealt with certain circumstances between on State Road 65 and even, even on 12, uh, 375, same thing, doing sim similar product projects. And like I say, the, the biggest key is that you know ahead of time. Um, there's certain things that you can do that makes things a lot easier um, as long as you know ahead of time that you can do it in a manner that will save and protect what, what you want. I bet you every time you drive down this road next spring and summer, you're oh, yeah. looking for I'll, it. I'll, this next spring and summer, I'll actually stop and see, if, <laughs> see what I can find then.